Okay, my name's Mike Lowe, I'm the Senior Learning Teaching Fellow down here at MMU Cheshire, which means that 50% of my time is involved in learning, teaching activities, developments, etc, 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 and then 50% of it is teaching. So I'm still getting my feet dirty as well as kind of planning new things in terms of learning teaching. Okay, the unit I want to talk about today is called Employability Skills. Um, it's a level six unit we would normally advise to do anything like employability um, in levels four and levels five but we found through trialing this that students weren't interested until it came to level six and then when they could see that they're exiting the university then they start to think about the careers the jobs etc etc so we designed this unit for a level six unit and it's one piece of work which is a portfolio it's front loaded all the teaching is done between september and christmas and then it leaves time for students to demonstrate or enhance any skills that require before exiting the university. And there's four parts to the assessment. Um, the, probably the bit that you're most interested in is part the third part, which is the interview session. What we do with the interview session is every student will get a chance of being an interviewee and every student will get a chance of being an interviewer, um, possibly chairing an interview panel as well. So the way this works is um, part A, students complete a CV and they reflect on that CV about the critical incidents which have led them to where they are now. And then part B, they fill in a job, they apply for a job, fill in job descriptions, CV, letter of support, etc. etc. And then they put it on a nice brown envelope and instead of posting it off to an employer, they post it to me and then I get that um, envelope and then I do something with it. Right, so now I've got my envelope. What I do is I photocopy all those applications two or three times, maybe four times, and then we set up the interviews. And the interviews consist of a panel of three students interviewing one student. And I'm there as an observer. And we also have one of these things that I'm looking into now, which films the interviewee. So, on the day of the interviews, the interviewee comes in and does a 15-minute presentation on to be successful in the role of any applicant requires, and that's the basis of the interview of uh, the presentation. That lasts 10 minutes, and then uh, the panel asks them to sit down and go through the interview. In terms of the interview, there'll be a chair of the panel, which is the lead student, obviously, um, and then supported by two other students. Lasts for about 25 minutes, the camera's on the interviewee. After 25 minutes, um, it's stopped. And then what happens is I go out with the interviewee, I give them a copy of my observed comments and I go through it with them. That student then can go, go off and digest what I've said, digest how they uh, reflections on the actual interview. I then go into the interview panel and debrief the interview panel and discuss what questions worked from, what questions didn't work from, why they didn't work, etc. etc. We then rotate the panel uh, chair ready for the next person to come in. So the final part of that is, as this is a portfolio, the idea is to collect as, as much evidence as possible and to discuss their journey from September to March, June time kind of thing, with however they want to structure this element of it. A key integral part of it is a DVD of the interview. So they have their own reflections, they have the DVD, they have my observed comments, and they will also have um, commentary from their interview panel as to how they thought they performed. So with all that information, the students then develop kind of um, a reflective account of how they think they performed during that interview. And that forms one part of the whole employability skills unit. So under an equal process, that unit has been sub, uh, subsumed into another unit called professional development. The actual activity of one portfolio and the interview skills, etc, etc, has been part of the assessment has really gone and we've got different assessments now. However, mentioning this activity to current students, level six students who are undertaking professional development, they're really keen that we kind of do this activity. So my plan for this year, after Christmas, is to go through that interview process again with my current students. It means extra work for them, but it's something that they want to do because they see the benefit. I found the, uh, the interviewer procedure was uh, 
really interesting and uh, I kind of reflected on that going back uh, watching my own uh, video how how I kind of answered the questions how did I handle the pressure uh, being with five different people from the inter industry and interviewed by the professionals to get into the job and uh, made me realize how, uh, how can I take the feedback of them and just to see myself from uh, from, from the side and learn how I can uh, better talk and present myself. You can find more films and podcasts on our website. Go to kelt.mmu.ac.uk forward slash good practice. Thanks for watching.